What's going on guys? I'm Ghosting is Slow and welcome back to part 6 of our Fallout 4 adventure. We have made it to Good Neighbor, we slept with Magnolia, and now we are going to go get into Kellogg's dead brain via his chip he had. So let's get going here. We got Valentine just, I guess he wandered off into this room, I'm assuming? Yeah, you dirty little robot. Anyways, let's get going here. Um, We finally got some ammo last time. So, we're stocked up on ammo. We got some good stim packs. So, we're good to go now. Um, I got Fallout 76 content on the channel now. Make sure to go check that out. We are having a blast playing that now. Before you even and now, these two are talking. Okay, I guess I disrupted their conversation. All right, let's head on out. It's a good neighbor. I'm having a blast playing this. Remember, I have this wall back here. Make sure to email me. My email is ghostingatslow at gmail.com. Some fan mail or a picture. I'll post it right up here on this wall behind me. My God, what a fucking dump. Well, I'm joking. This is good, neighbor. It's actually not that bad. I'm full of ghouls, I'll say that. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good what matters. We freaks got to stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. Yeah, you, know you me? tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly Commonwealth would want to drive us? What around? kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute understands. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some. Drugs. The Institute. <laughs> They're the real enemy. Not the Ravens. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools. Uh, I don't know, Diamond Hancock. City. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, Me too. I know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay now, focused. I want everyone to keep the institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you we away We all know no who's reason. behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to They stick can't together. control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the institute? Not no. us! Every not us. Town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not be good neighbor. neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Good neighbor. 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 Forgotten. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on hmm. you. Ooh. Arise downstairs, you big flirt. Can I flirt with you? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. Okay. Right? Let's get going here. Oh, Nick, you're already leading the way. Damn, bro, you sure you're not being controlled? Hello. That sure doesn't look like it came in with us. I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't judge me for who I am. Dr. Amari? Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. Um, no. Kellogg's brain. No, actually, let's be sarcastic. We've been sarcastic to a lot of people lately. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. <laughs> I love it. I'm not putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Yeah. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled this already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need I this. Know. And I'll so do look. we. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? No. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. <laughs> no. No. I will not. <laughs> now, do you have it? <gasps> oh my. <laughs> there you Here's go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is. Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Uh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, 
All Institute technology has a similar architecture. Brain still good? So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue. Okay. Injecting some kind of compound to but keep it But there's no stable. way to access the memories inside without a compatible You're talking port. about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an end. side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing hmm. the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. <laughs> Fresh uh, toast. Nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Just if I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Okay. I'm gonna. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions you could be done. any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make That's sense of any of it, Doc. Hmm. The mnemonic impressions are as the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. That doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we, we load used to? both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers? Run your cognitive functions and act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. <laughs> Sarcastic approach first, obviously. Nick and I are going to share a mind. Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising position. If smart mouth was all it took to solve problems. We would have found your son uh, by now. No. He's you getting tired of my shit. <laughs> the only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. All right. Let's get started. Let's get to it. And keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. All right. Yep. See you on the other side, Nick. Yeah, Nick's getting tired of my shit, yo. Please stand Initiating by. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can Sorry, find. Sorry, I thought. It's like 2 a.m. Just hold on. Oh, hey, are we in Nick's mind? It's nothing but white. Can you hear me? Oh. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite I'll fragile. try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. So are these like neurons? Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Turn down that goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! Of joining the new all five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment, we are all... Oh, man. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to teach them the truth. School said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big Don't war. Don't you listen to that twatter. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. <laughs> Shit. Where the fuck did you put my boot? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. Oh, shit. If you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. You are have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. I'd be pissed off, too, if my name was Connie. That was a guy. Hopefully that was just a nickname. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now with the baby. Come on, Sarah, you gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. 
nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of... I know. Green. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need, then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts. Whatever made me think that a guy like me oh, wow. could have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Oh, wow, that's cool. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she would have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people, probably living in happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. The thing about happiness hmm. is you only know you had it, and it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe Focus it. on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. They sure picked the hmm. right person for that job. Listen, it's going to be great here. See this? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know. Cole. He just stuck it in his thigh. I'm sure we're going to be really happy. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. They're in San Francisco. The next intact memory. That's interesting. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. Hmm. That's interesting. Wonderful, uh, you know, get to go see San Francisco one day. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Uh -oh. Just so you know, they died like dogs. I and you another memory to try. weren't there to help them. Oh shit, did they kill his family? That's, bro, that's like dark. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I didn't care where I was going. Ended hmm. up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Indeed. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. So, I don't remember much from that time. Hmm. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. Uh, That's universal. I hear you take care of people's problems. If you pay Is me. That right? Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. Hmm. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Okay. Try this next one. Interesting. Mr. Oh. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So... You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. Hmm. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. I... The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but... I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but... 
You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad they were real, that ever happened. Right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths. They had everything. the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This I must do what stop. people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only and one way that, out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, hmm. there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think me. you fully understand the situation you're I think in. I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Uh-oh. Holy shit. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain fuel. Oh. Damn. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Oh, hey, here we go. Manual override initiated. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, it wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Hmm. All computers. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. They needed me. Looks like a Power Ranger. I made sure they knew it. They're still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Just hopefully it's all find it. Pod C six down the hall near the end. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <clears throat> Guess the old man didn't want so Too many bad left ends. alive, the one person he shouldn't have. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. Yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, better this way, though. Still human. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. That, that is true. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood it's that us. kind of revenge. No but one I was better. cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thought out. At least out. I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. This is the one. Here. Open it. Oh, hey, Nora. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Almost. Are we okay? Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, baby. No, no. I've got Let him. Let the boy go. Uh -oh. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you a gun. Oh, shit. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm... All right. We're good. I'm uh I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. I I am ready. Let's go. Yeah, I hate that we had to go uh see Nora to get killed again. That's kind of sad. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle hmm. down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. Oh, man, I nose. thought it was a terrible idea, but actually. It was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like I happened to ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out. There's no going back. 
I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Bro, the soft side. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Hmm? Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. smarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did, but the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. Dang, he looks like from the Matrix. They were killing machines, pure and smarter, simple. stronger and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Look as I say, Lindsay. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Uh-oh. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Okay. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate They're Virgil. They're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Hi, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. You'll never see him again. Oh. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. <laughs> yeah, please, pull me out. This is getting creepy. Oh, here we go. Side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever had a dummy before. Um, next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical Are condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Yes, Virgil. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Hmm. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He it really does. Where did questions. the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Hmm, it's probably the perfect hiding spot, yeah. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about that following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off. If and Virgil found an a advantage. way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Hmm. I, I'll, I'll find, find a way. way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And by the safe. way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. So we gotta find a way through the glowing sea. Nick, where are you? Hey, you feeling okay, buddy? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Uh... Is... What? Kellogg? Is that what? you? What are you talking about? Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? Yes, that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know. Anyway, sure. I feel fine, so let's get going. Okay, yeah. Glowing we Sea? We have to head into the Glowing Sea. Any mm. advice? I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. buy up all the Rad-X and Rad-Away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. 
Hmm. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Yeah. Let's see where it takes us next. Yeah. Because uh, you hate me, to be honest, if we're going to be real. Because <laughs> I've been doing stuff you don't like. So. Power armor. Power armor. Hey, Nick. All right, so we're going to go get our power armor. Because they want us to go down there. So we're going to go on over to Sanctuary here. God, we're only level 10. Should we go join the Brotherhood? That's the question of the day. Nick, where are you at? I need hey, all my shit. What's the plan? Hmm. No, I don't want to enter. Son of a bitch, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to just, you know, work on it. Go check that out. Do something for you. All right, craft. So, damn, there's nothing I can do with this. So it looks like our best option is probably to go join the Brotherhood of Steel for now. So, actually, let's see if we can upgrade some stuff here. Kellogg's pistol. No. Nothing I can do on that. How about you, Righteous Authority? No. Not even that. That's all right. Uh, do we not have a stash somewhere we can stash this stuff? You aren't allied with the settlement. Of course I'm not. Hey, Preston. Hey. hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you'd show up. Yep. I think we could settle All down. Yeah. I used to like live. What do you? I lived here. Yeah, like I lived here 200 years ago. years ago. Damn. Like one of those. You say you were frozen. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, come here, Nick. I need a stash. You're telling me I'm actually gonna have to. My son. Damn it. The institute kidnapped. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Thank you. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Okay. I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word okay. from the settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are men and men out there. The Somewhere. only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman is to show people that they can count on us when they need Trouble us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Yeah, sure. I'm glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minuteman could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Yeah, I just, I need to build a container. Like, a, I need a container. Do I not have any, like, containers? Yes. All right. No. I need, like, a box. A foot locker. There we go. Yes, we're going to transfer all my junk. All right, boys and girls, let's get it all in there. Come on. Now, this stuff all better be in here when I get back, or I am going to be one pissed off son of a bitch. Okay. Ignore what y'all just saw. Hey, right. Nick, you where you at? I wanted to thank you for helping us out. Hey, Nick. Hey. Go on. Stay Wait here. There. I'll stay put. Heads up. Hey, we're gonna Looks talk. Like you got something to say. Yeah. Hey, let's um. 
Let's dismiss. We should go our separate ways. Sure. Suppose I'll head on home. Uh, no, just go to Sanctuary Hills. Home, then. Just stay here. And now let us. I bet your dog meat is at this. Um. What you call it? Yeah, I bet you he's over here. So we're gonna go grab him. Then we're gonna go join the Brotherhood of Steel. Just so we can get some better power armor. I know, I know, that's cheating. And you know what? Maybe, you know, if we don't like him later on, we can say sorry. We don't want you. Oh yeah, I forgot. We already, we already kind of looted him. Oh hi. Yeah. Hey, trash can. Hey, Carla. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Yeah, let's. I've got a few minutes to browse. Always happy. Uh huh. Okay. You can take that from me. What else you got? Uh, I, I can't afford anything else. Not until I join the Brotherhood. Dog meat? Yup. I have lost that dog. And I don't know where he would be. I have lost dog meat. And I have no idea where he would be. Um. Okay, so. Okay. I'm sure they want us back there. So, yep. Let's head on back. I bet you this place is going to just be full of people in power armor and everything in between. It makes sense. I mean, damn. This video is going to be a little longer. I'll just be real with y'all. So, dance. I want to join. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. sir. Mission accomplished. We have the transfer. Finally, some good news for a change. Yes. Nice work, I didn't work, do sir. it alone. Had some help from our new I've friend. I've offered him a place on our team, but I'm not sure he's willing to accept In the meantime, it. he's welcome to take shelter here, as long as he doesn't get in our way. Hey, Dan, Dance. There's still a place for you in the brother. Yes, I mm -hmm. want to join. I'm honored. I'd be honored to join. And that settles it. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the brother. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. I won't let you down. Thanks. I promise not to let you, you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was You decided was enough. to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. No, I don't I like got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Got Don't it. worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the I point. only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. There's it's one last order that. of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, Ad soldier. Victorium, knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Haley. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, Ad Victorium is unacceptable <laughs> because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember now, that. I've received orders that we're both to report to the Bridwood. However, if you want to run a few ops to describe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly need I'll leave assistance. the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Okay. Um, now, before y'all say anything, I know it just cut. I had to go put my daughter to bed, and uh, she took my hat. So, I am now hatless. This is what I look like. I have hair, believe it or not. So, let's get going. Um, we're actually going to go on over to the Bridwood. Damn, Paladin Dance, you look... Good as fuck in that armor. Paladin dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? I sure am. Let's go. Of course I am. 
I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridrum. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, look at you sprinting in excitement. You can't wait to get up there, can ya? I'm so happy for you, Dance. You get to go home or to your, like, big thing. You know what? I might just stick with the Brotherhood just because of Dance. I, this man is, I just love him. He believes truly in what, in his beliefs. And I respect that. Like, go dance. All right. Let's hop in. I'm assuming you're already on. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Yes, sir. Sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. What's considered a local? Is like a raider considered a local? The Commonwealth looks different from up here. Does it? it never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes. We're going to need that edge when we take on the institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. I and hope now so. Now what we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Yes, sir. Elder Maxon just sounds like a badass, if I'm going to be real. Ow, son of a bitch. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below oh, wow, is in cool. mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. I love you. Paladin, I just believe in you. Is that a fucking pirate ship? The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Bro. Stick close to me and answer all of his questions. I know where we're going here soon. Oh, there it is. Looks like the big old Pridwin. All right. How far can you shoot that? Ooh, we're at the Boston Airport. Nice. And is this the Predwin? Did they decide to dock at the airport? What badasses? I just y'all are amazing. Like this whole thing, dance man, you're you're amazing. She is. It's been far too long since I've All been right, bored. soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. There we go. Thought I think I had a little too much light on my face. Oh, is it the Predwin? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, damn. Okay, that was cool. Okay, that was a fun ride. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, yes sir. I've still promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings first. Yes. 
We've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request to place the recruit in your Thank charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Captain. Okay. Let us... So... We don't want to do that. Follow the Freedom Trail. Not yet. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta talk to him. Hey, so what's up? You're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Soldier's appearance? And what's a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. Not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest of the if world. If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they Understood. are. Understood? Um, yes sir, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Hmm. Power armor? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? Hmm. Elder Maxon? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, We'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Waste. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Sounds like a Chad. No questions. My orders? My orders. Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? No questions. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Ad Victorum. All right, let's go. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. All right, let's go. I just want some power armor, man. Am I using y'all? Maybe. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival. You in have the accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, with now Out that the ship question. is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer, known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before they it are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time. The Institute in scientists history. have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of they the atom bomb. Their the synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades it's as a human no notion. That a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but like horribly Adam, dangerous. If it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct I as a species. I'm not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel. And should be dealt with swiftly. This campaign and will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. If dumb and ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. Um, Chad. I mean, Elder Maxon. I care about them. The people of the Commonwealth. I, I honestly can see that. I mean, because... Yeah. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need exactly. to save them. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making and a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already Seeing begun that Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better Therefore, from this moment forward, 
I'm granting you the rank and of knight. Woo! your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Hey, heck I'll yeah. I'll do my best to live up to I'm it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new Pridwin orders. Soldier. Make us proud. I think we're going to do some missions for the Brotherhood of Steel to level up some. Because we're only, let's see here. Level 10, I think. And, you know, that is just low. So, we are going to... Hmm. Huh. What should we upgrade? No, not a magic pistols do. Yeah, we'll get that. That way Old Faithful is better. E. I don't think I'm going to turn Old Faithful into an automatic pistol. We'll see. I don't know yet. Across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Oh, thank you. I'm here for my power armor. Um. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Yep. Hey, Paladin. Dance. Guess what? Paladin. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? It went well. How old is he, though? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay Don't with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. You're confident it's in Maxon? Why are you so confident in his ability? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to this glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. So he's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything of he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Hey, I won't let you down, buddy. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Yeah, let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. You look worried. You to stay on point. Is something bothering Your you? Your instincts seem to be right on target. Going up the institute. Hey, hell yeah. There. Try it now. Nothing. Commonwealth. All right. Make sure you gear up. Hey. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. There it is. Bro, you have like Thanks, robot legs. That's awesome. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. All right. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. I just fixed up a pretty decent T60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creep sitting in bay you. three. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Missing legs. <laughs> you feel like telling me how you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? I'll keep it secret. Would it help if I promise not to tell anyone else? Okay, okay. Get you off my back about it. I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the Capital Wasteland. Worked at a staging area for the Power Armor troops. Our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. Oh, wow. Not on the Pridwen? You weren't aboard the Pridwen? No, the Pridwen wasn't under Maxon's command at the time. Oh, okay. It wasn't even in the Capital Wasteland. If she'd had been there... Battle wouldn't have been such a challenge. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke, sheared most of the cliff right off, and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Oh, wow. 
Your power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah. It took the brunt of the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. The suit was trashed after it landed, and I lost both of my legs. Haven't walked since. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. That's actually not that bad of it. That's a cool um, story there. So that's not mine. Is this one mine? That one's not mine. Is this one mine? Aha! Here we go. Alright. Boys and girls, let's jump in. We got us some brand new power armor. Dance. Yes, sir. Dance. Let's go kick some ass, bro. Yeah, we don't need that. I got this. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna go kick some ass. If you're looking for ammunition or oh, weapon mods, shit. I guess I do need to talk to everyone. Damn, I didn't want to have to just talk to everyone. I wanted to. Hey. Step forward, knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Is that an, is that an XO2 helmet? Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster. Proctor the powers Tito. that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Hey, good, That's to know. good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. Well, I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, and they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Oh, yeah, sounds I good. Use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. Just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farm. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one man zoo, I, I didn't mean to agree to it right back. now. God damn. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. All right, yeah, we'll do. All right, now we gotta go talk to these two. Make way, make way, Brotherhood Knight here. I'm a big deal. Glad I... you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, medical exam? What kind of medical exam? I feel There's fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical. It's my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat. I'm to going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the First best of your question. ability. As a okay. child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Um, wouldn't vault tech screening process have caught this already? vault tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably yes. healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? No. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often? That happens often enough for you to have a question about You'd it? You'd be surprised how many Wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the Wasteland, I'll assume your answer is Last no. question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? I need to defend myself. If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Will do. Move, dance, you big, beautiful bastard. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confused, bro. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. 
Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Yeah, just Max meet the crew, bro. To meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. All right. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. Oh As God, we've done a lot of talking this time around, haven't we? Blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, can we just go blow something up, please? I'm authorized to pay literature. you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Yeah, you too, bro. All right, have let's get fired the a minigun. Let's get the heck out of here, bros. We're gonna go. Is there anywhere we can go to blow something up? We need some testosterone in this video. Glad to have you. Show them no mercy. Meet with Elder Max. Okay. That's what I like to see. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? I am. Let's go. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Yep, let's go. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. But it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant film. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, let's go. Dance. I'm ready. Probably could have just jumped off the side of the building. Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood from striking the city. Maxim might appear compassionate, but I can assure you. Where did I miss the fucking? Okay, where? We're just gonna do this. Wow, I actually survived that. I honestly kind of just assume that, but let's go here. Okay, I guess we're not doing that. I guess we're just gonna go this way. I don't know where to go, like. Board the vertebrate gunship? Okay, where? It's like it didn't spawn or something. Okay. It's telling me to go right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I go down. Okay. Is this the one I need to hop on? Ah, it is. Look at that. Okay, let's go. Death from above. It's the only way to fly. Welcome aboard, Knight. Thank you. Um, hey, um, guys. Guys. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm glad we have met, have the art of, uh, it's, it's that way, guys. Oh, my God. 
Let's kill him. All right, boys and girls, let's get him. I'm ready. All right. Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sights. There we go. Yeah! Hoorah! Ad Victorium! Holy shit. That thing is huge. Hey, Dan, you gonna shoot? Alright. Where's that behemoth at? There you are, you big bastard. Oh, he's halfway dead. He's halfway dead. He's halfway dead. Oh, I'm the kind of guy and I'm just gonna kill this big ass behemoth up born for ill. Oh, I'm a wanderer of the brotherhood. Killed you, big Bessie. Look at that thing oh. I'm gonna find a place to set her down then no. tail it back to the Pridwin for repairs. No, please don't. Can I kill him first? Can I kill him first? He mutated. He mutated. This is a legendary super mutant butcher. Yeah. Of course, I'm just going to spray and pray that. All right, dance. Let's kick their fucking ass. Ooh, assassin's left leg. Oh, it mutated, because of course it did. Oh my god. My god, he is just... You bastard, get back here. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's how we get it. Oh, a freezing tire iron or free targets on critical hits. Wait. Boom. Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll take that. What else you had? All right, let's go dance. All right, we have cleared this. Now we got to go inside, boys and girls. I like how the rain just gathers on our helmet. All right, dance, you ready for this? I feel like with you, we can take on the whole damn super mutant, mutant army. Oh, shit. Quite a bit of debris here. Where's our bucket head would show up? Someone's gonna spawn! Yeah, bucket heads here. Oh my god, this thing is huge. <laughs> Bitches! Get him, Paladin. Get him, dance. You big beautiful bastard. Damn, I don't have. Hold on. I I know I have. Yes! Oh, he mutated. That son of a bitch. There we go. I I hate you. Bro. Bro. Bro, come on. 
I will admit though, this thing is saving our life. Bitch, get your ass over here. There we go. Martyr's right arm. Nice. Oh, I'll... Bottle cap. And a 45 round. Why are you bothering with that junk? Because it's good stuff, man. You can. Have you ever heard of crafting? This area seems to be in disarray. It's all about the crafting, man. Sweet. General Brock's terminal. Oh, what's this? As the command force runners passed to me, I look forward to helping the U.S. Army test some experimental weapons at our facility. Okay, yeah, y'all can read that. Y'all can read that. I'm making sure y'all can see it. Y'all can read that. Y'all can read that. Y'all can read that. And you can read that. Is there anything useful? Oh, Fort Strong Key. Remain vigilant. This place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean we should drop our guard. Yeah, that is true. Move, you big beautiful bastard. Judging from the amount of dust present, it's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this hmm. location in quite a while. Yeah, that is probably true. Communism is coming. Oh, sweet, we leveled up. I forgot. Um, let us, let's make our endurance better. Oh, shit. God damn, Paladin Dant. Now what do we do, data? Do we not do that already? Probably not. No. All right, let's head back on in. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Ah, here we go. This is where I was meaning to go. Or at least I think. Hmm. Where the hell's the armory? Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. You just said, why am I wasting my time with the junk? Am I missing something? Oh, I am. Look at this. All right, let's go dance. Get your big beefy ass in here. I trust he's just gonna. There you are. You ready? This is old faithful. Hello? Fuck up. Boom! You're not so big and scary, are you? Ow, you motherfucker! Okay, you wanna play with rocket launchers? Ow. Oh, I am fucking almost dead. Boom! I will. Boom! Now where's that rocket launcher? You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Ah, uh, somewhat missile, missile. That's what I wanted. Okay, sweet. Add the Covered in dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. 
Why hate? Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend. A oh. brotherhood nightmare. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling. I've been two fighting steps for back. years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, I've seen what these come super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever it would got be the Armageddon upper hand? repeated? And maybe the end of everything that we hold <sighs> dear. Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Hey, don't be don't sorry, apologize. you're good. It reminds me why I'm doing it. Thank this. you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these You should heads. head back up to the Pridwin and <coughs> talk to Maxim. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as Dismissed. soon as possible. Thank you. Bro, 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 you can still follow me. Excuse me, Paladin Vance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Yeah, come on. Ready. Roger that. Alrighty, everyone, this is where we're going to cut it off right now. I hope you all enjoyed the video. We had a shit ton of fun. We joined the Brotherhood of Steel. We just killed a bunch of super mutants. And we got our very own T-60 power armor. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all next time.